welcome to the TennoCon 2022 Community Art Show. I'm Helen Hickela, a member of Warframe's community team and one of your co-hosts for today's segment. And I'm Mike Skyers, a principal character artist on Warframe and a TennoGen supervisor, your other co-host. <laughs> uh, we first would like to thank Go Light Up for their awesome performance of We All Live Together that you saw in our intro. You can check out the full version on YouTube. Over the next hour, Skyers and I are going to take you through some gorgeous community art and dojos. We are going to be showing Skyers all these pieces for the first time, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with him and all of you. There were over 300 submissions this year. So many. So many. And Julia Fields, Veronica Botnick, and I had a lot of fun going through every single submission and appreciating all the hard work that went into it. But of course, in a one-hour segment, we don't have time to go through all of the submissions we received. That said, we agreed, and the community team agreed, that we wanted to give more of these pieces a time to shine on a Warframe live stream. So when prime time starts back up over the next three months, we are going to show more art that was submitted to this segment on prime time. You can watch prime time weekly. It airs Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern time on the Warframe YouTube and Twitch channels. All the artists featured today will receive in-game platinum and exclusive trophies as a reward for sharing their creativity with us. Physical props and cosplay will also receive trophies to acknowledge skills like charm and craftsmanship. But without further ado, let's take a look at Warframe's finest dojos. In Warframe, players team up to create clans. A clan supports one another's in-game progress, competes in events, and forms a community of their own. The dojo is the clan's home base. It starts as one empty room, and it's up to the clan to decorate and expand. Since dojos first entered Warframe, ambitious clans have created increasingly complex designs. Dojo decoration has become an art of its own, and some clans stand out as true experts. Each of the eight dojos we'll tour today showcases a mastery in dojo design. After today's showcase, you can visit the dojos yourself to check out even more of each clan's creations. The dojos will be live on the Warframe Star Chart all weekend, and there's much to see. So, it is no secret that the Warframe community loves their mechs, as you and I do. I know definitely, you do. Definitely, I'm guilty. <laughs> definitely. And Violet Church is a great representation of that, but they don't only make mechs, they also create gorgeous rooms around those mechs. So let's take a look at some of those. She's regal. She's gorgeous. She's guarding a library. That's crazy. <laughs> so you can see here, they have like little personal Whoa. decorations they've added in addition to all the major ones. I gotta join a clan like this, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, by I... the church, you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have space. <laughs> and I like this trend where they've taken a corpus decoration that wasn't intended to be a book, but lots of dojos are using it as a book now. Mm -hmm. Just shows what clans can do and their imaginations run wild. <laughs> Next room. Wow. Okay, yeah. I gotta join this clan. <laughs> There's one for you. <laughs> or at least take a visit, yeah. So obviously you can probably tell they've taken a lot of inspiration from uh, Elden Ring, Dark Souls, and my fave, Mobile Suit, Gundam Seed. And Evangelion. You That's nailed it. That's the other one. That's crazy. I, I'm so curious to like find out what parts they use to make this. So many. And overlapping them to create certain uh -huh. shapes. Yeah. All the debris is so carefully placed. And the effect coming off the eye is really awesome as well. For sure, I wouldn't mess with either of those creatures, although clearly there was a winner. <laughs> <laughs> now this is our third and final room we're gonna look at today. If you go visit Violet Church on the star chart, you're gonna see so much more too. Wow. So it's not only a gorgeous mech in this beautiful courtyard landscape, They've created rooms for the dojo members. So it's actually like a little city or... Yeah, you got like personal quarters and that's amazing. We're gonna move on to another PC clan now, Umbra Lua Lycans. The reason we're gonna look at this clan today is they have so many strange but beautiful designs. The okay. whole dojo feels enchanted or maybe haunted. Let's take a look. 
Wow, that's a straight up medieval dungeon <laughs> in Warframe. Yeah. <laughs> what is this game? I mean, what is this game? How are people making this? Yeah, and you see those corpus props as mm. books coming back. The stained glass windows. Mm-hmm. So thoughtfully and carefully placed too. Little surprise coming up. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Is that spooky? I never knew you could do all this kind of crazy stuff with dojos. It's amazing. <laughs> I know. Welcome to Warframe Dojos. It all feels like a hex or something has been put on each room. Mm -hmm. I'm really into it. Ooh, I love this one. I'm not. I'm not certain that's supposed to be Excalibur, but I think maybe the room is called Relic of the Past. Okay, okay. And we have more of these. I feel like it's a little bit more Atlas-y. It's got no neck. <laughs> <laughs> that's all, a fact. It's all traps. That's a fact. And this is the Iron Giant, and there's a story being told in this piece. Okay, it's holding up a pillar. Mm -hmm. Saving the day. Mm -hmm. But if you look really closely, a little person. Yes. Taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a selfie with the giant. So saving the day That's for that great. soul there. And now this is a structure they've made entirely on their own. Like this isn't a preset room we've given them. They've taken walls. Me. Yeah, right? It looks like level design. Which I suppose it is. Yeah. That's amazing. So thank you, Umbralua Lichens. That is so gorgeous. Uh, we're moving on to PlayStation now. Okay. We're going to look at a clan called Raven Fox because there's this other cool trend in dojo decorating where players recreate scenes from pop culture, movies, TV shows, and uh, Raven Fox does a really good job of that down to little smart details. Okay. So here we go with Raven Fox. Star Wars Get fans? Get out of here. That's amazing. Anyone? And the inside. Yes, two scales, so you can walk around in there and just see Luke they training. Have the, they have the, the chessboard. Yes. Don't come for me, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I don't remember either. <laughs> Twitch chat will tell us, don't yeah. worry. And look, they're working away on it. There's a floof there. Okay, we're entering another in the sci-fi realm of film. Anyone recognize that suit from Aliens? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't just and here. Tell me there's a giant queen somewhere in here. Maybe. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, Skyers? Doesn't look like we're going anywhere safe and good, that's for sure. <clears throat> they're gonna fix some of this dojo up. I don't know. Falling apart. I don't know if they can. And down we go. <laughs> you look afraid. Oh no, yeah. Oh boy. That's awesome. Isn't that so sick? The oh, they even got the eggs too. That's great. And down to those classic Raven Fox little details, we have an unfortunate victim on the left there. Oh, wow. Yep. And of course, we had to showcase what the clan could do with an original design as well. This is their Guardian of Eternity that Three Claw, one of their lead architects, mm -hmm. created. It's impressive. Yeah, they have little floofs operating this there's a word for this, observatory. 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 Yeah. Hey, look, more are arriving. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's impressive. It is, and this yeah. scale. All Especially of this... going through all the, all the items that they can use to curate what they need for this piece. Mm-hmm, starting with the skybox. Mm -hmm. It's madness. We're jumping back to PC for our fourth dojo to check out 12 Olympians. Long live the king. Upon his throne. Mm -hmm. So this also just started with a skybox. That's wild. Name that movie. Yeah, I, so when I first saw it, I thought, oh, mine's a Moria, and then... <laughs> yes, and we're going in. <laughs> Absolutely, Mordor. 
So they've taken like a mix of seedist decorations of just natural rocks and yeah. some infested. In space. Created <laughs> caves in space, guys. All of this. Those aren't even lava effects. They're a different kind of glowing oh, effect. Oh, yes, I made, know that one. Yep. Just made it look like lava. From the new war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. The scale of it. There's a movie. And it's a movie. I think okay. it's so cute. So we created a little That's camera, great. director's seat. And now this is an original work. Yeah. Yes, this is called Frozen Throne. And if you make the long trek up to the mm -hmm. top, I don't know if you would. It doesn't look very inviting. It looks a little scary at the end here. It's a great slide. <laughs> it's a great slide. That was amazing. And you can also go into the kind of cave creation that they've made. There's a lot more to explore than what we've even shown here. But you know, got to give everyone a little preview. Yeah, no, these are, these are definitely worth going in and checking out in person. We're now going to jump into a dojo from Warframe's Wii game server build. Meng Huang Guo Du translates to Dreamland, and we love how they've used more open space rooms to create entirely original landscapes. Okay, let's take a look. Whoa, already off to a crazy start. Yes, a huge city. We've seen cities before, but I think where it's really been taken to the next level recently is that people create like areas you can walk through. Mm -hmm. It's not just for looks. Yeah. It's got an underpass and everything. Yes. <laughs> I love this statue. <laughs> can you say Oricon cool? I mean, <laughs> it's such like an an Oricon style statue piece. Uh huh. Uh huh. They even recreated their their weird dread hair stuff. Yeah, so it looks awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness! Love it. So we're seeing like a very diverse range of styles mm -hmm. here. Um, we're going to talk more about how dojos make this kind of art, or dojo decorators make this kind of art in a bit. Mm -hmm. But those hamsters. They got some cool stuff, they got some cute stuff, and we got it all here. Got it all. And again. Cool spaceport, somebody's dropping a bomb on it somewhere. Yeah, a whole alien fight, and you can go through, and, and like they set up every single piece, every floorboard, every doorway, every computer, they place themselves. Wow. I know. It's, it, I love things that tell a story, like you feel like you're looking at a frozen moment mm -hmm. in this battle. We're moving back to consoles. We're checking out an Xbox dojo called Dojo Prime. Great name. Okay. And they, well, everyone who watches Prime Time will know that recently the community team has been freaking out about shadow art. Um, that's what we call it. It's okay. basically when dojo decorators play with our in-game light and shadow logic to create some cool, 2D looking pieces. But there's a lot more you can do with this shadow and light, okay. as we'll see. Okay. So let's start things off with Dojo Prime's work. That's a shadow. Yeah, so they have placed a background and used our text boxes, which you just type into, mm -hmm. um, to create like blocks of color. That's unreal. Yeah, so you can use that glow there and then put decorations in front of it to like create the shadow effect you're seeing. One piece. One piece. And more anime. Oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm like, I know these references. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. An original landscape to show some diversity in this dojo. They do a lot of stuff, like so much. I can picture the clan sitting down for very important meetings here. Yeah. I'd be just, if I was in a meeting, I'd be distracted by stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, sense. look at that. Yeah. Like, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> exactly. A fountain. Yeah, and mm -hmm. what I appreciate about pieces like this is how carefully you have to work to like, make everything align oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, creating these circular structures must be a task. Yeah, it would be very time consuming. And now we're going to look at another style of that 
playing with light and shadow okay. idea I was telling you about. Notes from Underground on PC is a master of that. And they've created this kind of style that we in the community have been calling Tron style uh -huh. roots. Yep. And also a fan of Tron. Yes, yeah. so more for you, Skyers. Yep. And we've seen more of it coming up, like more Tenno are giving it a shot in their own dojos, but this is some of the earliest stuff we've seen of this look. So, let's see. <laughs> I'm like, what? So you can walk all through here. Like you've been... I'm, I'm just amazed, I'm like, how? How do they do this? That's amazing. It's wild. It feels like, Yes, this is a simulation. <laughs> we pierce the veil in this dojo. Going through warp speed. That's so cool. Yeah, I have to visit this one too. <laughs> Absolutely, well, live on PC, you can go check it out. Okay, this room, we're looking at it from one direction. Are we going up, down, left, or right? Because I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, but we're about to go the opposite way, and it's a different color. Okay, that's impressive. Yes. And that alignment again. And the spirally madness has not ended, Skars. It's and only begun. <laughs> yeah, we're all mad yes. here, that room's called. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, pay attention to how this works out. Is my brain gonna break? Yes, Skars, it is. There it is, it's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna notice maybe it's a little topsy-turvy as we come out this doorway. Are we gonna be on the ceiling? Yes! Oh, it's the that. same room you started in, but upside down. Wow, okay. Pew, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Nice. Yeah. Gotta have a strong finish mm -hmm. with that Tron-like space again. That's, an, that's so impressive. I, I had no idea that I was going to come and look at those just like this today. Yeah. yeah. Well, we aim to please, Skyers. So we aim to please. Okay, our next dojo is Sky City. And they're going to finish us off with some more themed rooms. Are you a fan of Elden Ring, Skyers? I am that one person in the room that has not played Elden Ring yet. Well, but, fear not. I'm sure plenty of Tenno out there have, and even if you haven't, you're gonna enjoy these yeah. designs. But there are some things you might recognize as inspiration from Sky City as we go through. This, the scale, again. I like wanna go and walk around and the scale of this is And very there's a impressive. dragon. This city, this poor city in ruins. Beautiful ruins. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like, it's got levels. <laughs> <laughs> it's got layers it's to it. The <laughs> verticality. <laughs> exactly. Wow. Yeah, so we're gonna get a closer look at what it's like to walk through this city in ruins landscape that's been so carefully set up. Of the golden roofs. Oh yeah. And now another of a similar feel. Yeah, tone change. Little Got tone some change. Going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Huge. Call. Absolutely. This is uh, Academy of Rhea Lucaria. My school didn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Now this is an original one, because you got to finish strong and show what this clan can do. I mean... This is... Huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. I'm gonna find my, my uh, spacecraft in here. <laughs> you could. Get in there with a, a small jet. The, the new little, tiny little set come through. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, finishing off with that huge sci-fi ready railgun. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Beautiful. So those are all of our dojos for today. Uh, thank you all so much. We've blown away by them. I'm, 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 I had no idea. It's, that's amazing. <laughs> I hope you learned a little bit about what our Tenno can mm -hmm. do. I'm gonna have to visit a few of them. Yes. Just to get that scale, because like I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yes. Well, fortunately, you can't do that because those dojos are live on the star chart all weekend. So please go check them out and let those decorators know how much we all love their designs. 
You ready for our next segment, Sai? Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so now we're going to be getting into the traditional art category. So the things you'll see in this section have been created with uh, physical media like pencils, ink, and paint. That's right. Well, let's kick things off with Irolia. Okay, so painted directly on a shirt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very familiar with this character. Aren't you, Skyers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Skyers is Warframe Cora. I think it's a strong start to show mm -hmm, you this beautiful mm -hmm. creation. Yeah, it lives on a shirt. That's great. Out in the world now. Yeah. I'm man, part of the best part of this job is to see people do fan art of the work that we make and it's really cool to see this on a shirt. Yeah, you did yeah. an amazing job, Errol, yeah. We're going to do the next one for today, Eggs Gaia. X Gaia created their own Warframe concept of the Vulcan frame and their weapon Talos. This guy looks like he's a forger and I love it. Oh yeah. yeah he's got like the lava going through. Yeah, it's super cool. Certainly, yeah, you can see the volcano inspiration. I feel like Ember would welcome Xkaya into. Be best friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> best friends. <laughs> I can see it now. I can see the more fan art even mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that and all the detailed work in this piece with your concept. Naxus has created the next one for us. Whoa. Where the sentience went, the new war started, is what they put as a comment with this piece. It's very detailed. I'm like looking, I'm like, oh, okay, so it's, yeah, it's got the whole story in there. That's yeah, it's like the it. longer you look, the more yeah. you see. Yeah. Our next piece is by Tipton. Stop. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, Skyers is very familiar with this kind of art. Yes. Well, yeah, painting model kits and minis is like my pastime. Yes. So that's crazy. And I see we got there. We got Ivara, Mesa Prime, Loki Prime. There's yeah. even a Lotus in there too. That's crazy. I know. They've created a whole collection and it's gorgeous. So we really appreciate this fine work. Mm -hmm. I hope they use it for some kind of game. Oh, surely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Show, show us how you're doing that too, please. Mm -hmm. Warhammer, but make it Warframe. <laughs> Next we have Mira Casardis. It's incredible. Yeah. Making Saren, I mean. Saren Prime is a gorgeous like, design. So love seeing artists recreate her and do their, you know, tell their own story. She's got a corpus tied up in there. Yeah, an yeah. unfortunate corpus. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, but fortunate for us because we get this beautiful piece of art. Yeah. So thank you, Casardis. As always, your work is magnificent. We have Drone Nade now with Ember and Frost in ink. Kind of like an opposite mm -hmm. combined mm -hmm. theme. It's very playing card aesthetic. Like yes, it. I can see it now. Yeah, yeah and I. I'm always a fan of this style of like the, the lines to create shadow. Yeah. Yeah, the hatching, yeah. Hatching. I am so bad at that. So <laughs> I'm looking at it and appreciating it. It's like, it's so nicely spaced and I can make out everything. I know for me, when it comes to that stuff, it's like, it just turns into a mess. <laughs> so that's, that's really cool. Yes, super appreciative of that. We're on to our next one by Rina May Palma. Speaking oh of shading. Our holy boy, yeah. <laughs> Our holy boy. <laughs> yeah, so we have Harrow here, uh, and all Harrow's magnificence. Mm -hmm. It's just another carefully done piece. Like, you can yeah. just see how much time had to go into every detail. Oh, that's very good. Beautiful. 
Golden Shades has the next one. Uh, and their comment with this piece is, you are the hope and future of the Tenno. It's a very angelic looking operator there. Yeah, you can yeah. see some inspiration. So I love that the operator feels like the powerful being that the operator is mm -hmm. in this piece. So thank you. Space child. Space child. Pyra is bringing us our next one. This is an illustrative love letter to these two critters, and I wanted to test my knowledge of utilizing my markers to their fullest. First sketched in pencil, mechanical pencil, then inked with simple ballpoint pen, and then of course they used a colorless blender marker to do the initial shading mm -hmm. with the ink laid before. And final pass was color with a Prisma, Prisma Color Primer markers mm -hmm. and white gel pen. Familiar with those materials, guys? Yes, I yes. imagine. Yes, and I avoid them because they're pr anything permanent. I'm a very much a digital artist because <laughs> I like my control Z. And with this stuff, you got to commit, and it's impressive. Like this is the blending is beautiful. And we have one more piece in this category by Smallish Poppy Six. Another, Another hero, hero piece. Of course. We have micron pens, Prismacolor colored pencils, and a gold pen here. That's really beautiful. And I like the um, tenno, like golden tenno aesthetic on the edges there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, it feels like an Oricon homage piece, almost yeah. like a hero's breaking through it to something mm -hmm, more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is all for this category. So thank you, everyone. Oh, that's amazing. And you can expect to see more gorgeous hand-drawn art in the future on prime time as well, of course. Shall we move on to digital art? Yes, let's do it. So digital art was definitely the category that received the most submissions for the art show. We have a lot to show you here, a lot of good stuff. And we're starting things off with Narubon's Mirage Prime. Wow. That's yes. so great. Oh my gosh, I love her. The tricks to herself. They're all in there. <laughs> They're all in there, all the clothes. I was like, okay, one, two, and then the other one, <laughs> I'm here too. Yes, and she looks prime, the yeah. gold. The posing is great. It gives is. them all their own uh, personality. Which is yeah. really cool. It's really well said. Thank you, Narabon, for this stunning piece. And now we're going to move on to Cret DUI for the next. Aww. I know. <laughs> this is a classic Cret DUI piece. I'm, I'm a sucker for romance. What can I say, this Skies? It's very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. I don't know, it feels like entering a fairy realm mm -hmm. or something, but with Warframes. What's mm -hmm. not so much? And it's that moment when they're 
The horns are bright about to touch. <laughs> it's special. <laughs> it's like they're going to kiss. Yes. <laughs> we love it. Thank you, Crutch UI, for this and all the other gorgeous pieces you My do heart in this style. Grew two sizes today. <laughs> sure did. On to Sand Chomps. So this is an animated GIF, mm -hmm. and you can see the kind of gold Vitruvian yeah. style with it. Taking from the sacrifice quest, that moment. That's mm -hmm. yeah, really cool. A moment that stays with all us Techno, I oh, think. Yeah. It's very deep. And Sandchomps even said this is their tribute to the sacrifice quest, and they adored the theme of love. Yeah. Yes. On to Pyraptor. Ah, uh, Zaku. Zaku. They're in pieces, of course, because mm -hmm. the broken Warframe is there. But I, I love how there's a quality of being broken, but also powerful in oh, this yeah. piece. You can feel the real, like they managed to keep the gesture in there, even after doing all the amazing shading and stuff. And it, it feels, you can feel it moving and happening. That's great. Thank you, Pyra, Pyra Raptor. On to Harma Griffin. There's too much. There's too much heart in all of I this. I know. It's like they formed a pieta with more frames. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the flower edition, mm -hmm. which all of us who know Helminth will appreciate. That's that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great work of use of color too, and the lighting with like the sun rays coming through and going across, leaving your eye. Yes. That's, that's beautiful. So, and Trinity, what a great choice for that uh, character yeah. mourning another warframe. Meg is going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Meg <laughs> fell in action, but Trinity will bring Meg back. Yeah. Fear not, folks. Yeah. Our next piece is by Nello Sart. Yes. We've gotten more of the uh, the void qualities mm -hmm. since the Zeremin has opened up to us, and mm -hmm. we're seeing some stunning art of that. Yeah. I love the new aesthetic that we've added to the game with all the spirals, and it's, it's a really beautiful way, a beautiful shape language, and they've recreated it here very mm -hmm. well. They have. Yeah. Even with the reflection of the Zeremin logo there, mm -hmm. I think that's so cool. Our next piece is by Gerana. It's your girl again. <gasps> More Cora love. <laughs> Our Never get tired artists of that. love her. I swear. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not love. <laughs> and yeah, great pose. Deadly. Yeah. Beautiful but deadly Cora. Yeah. Done great job. And, and it's customized colors too. Mm. The blood red face. That's that's really cool. Smart. Adds a lot to the mm -hmm. aesthetic of the piece. Our next piece is by Takaya Lee. This is epic. Once again, we're back in the void with the Zeremin. This is a great, like, poster aesthetic. Yep. Yeah. And with it, uh, Takea Lee said, together we will save our home, our Zeremin. It feels like a preview for a movie. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It was like a movie trailer poster. Perfect for that. It's awesome. Our next wow. piece is by RUV, or Rev. <laughs> This is, we were just talking about we Warframes with clothes, and here we are. This is, this is epic. Yeah, so all the boys and their cool, Loki, cool looks. Looking spiffy as you should be, yeah. I feel like they've really chosen, like, human outfits that suit the Warframes. Oh, yeah, no, these are perfect. <laughs> these are perfect. I have so much I want. I want Rhino as a personal trainer, for sure. <laughs> Sign me up. Sign me up. So thank you, RV. They're Quite a trio here. Awesome. Toasty Tea Leaf has our next piece. Wow. Totally different vibe. Totally different. Yeah. We've gone 180 degrees around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it feels like uh, kiss of death kind of. Toasty Leaf, you nailed the vibe of these characters in any case. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And Shadrad brings our next piece. Another movie poster. Uh -huh. And this is actually an attempt at a movie poster in the oh, style okay. of the Nailing Duviri it. Paradox. Nailing it. So, very appropriate for Tenocon this mm -hmm. year. Yep. <laughs> Looks, she got the memo. Yeah, <laughs> clearly Shadrad knew what Shadrad was up. Frevelisk has our next piece, Meg. I'm always amazed when people make Meg look really cool. 
She's like, <laughs> what do you mean, she, Meg's cool? Meg's like OG. Well, you can't go wrong with that reflective helmet. Yeah. They've really used it they, well. They've recreated that effect amazingly. Mm-hmm. She looks like queen of the stars of the cosmos. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Frevelisk, for doing Meg justice. She looks so cool. <laughs> and Art B. Horant has another. Did you just pick all these horror pieces for I me? Promise I don't want to seem like it's biased. Not rigged. I promise, <laughs> I promise, I didn't just choose a bunch of chorus for Skyers. I swear okay. the community sent so much Cora to us, and we were, I mean, Julia and Ronnie and I were. This is obsessed. amazing. This is the, <laughs> a mix of the Tano Jenskin and the Deluxe Skin inspiration here. And like the sitting on her deadly whip, mm -hmm. spooky. Mm -hmm. And it's a kind of look, I mean, like all her victims in the background. Oh, I didn't even look that far yet. That's, <laughs> that's sinister. And now we're gonna look at Sil Fix's piece. That's gorgeous. The Lotus. Do you know which one, did, who did you choose? I, I mean, I wanted to keep both. So I went for the Lotus again. Okay. But who did you choose? Uh, Lotus as well. The okay. new design was like too cool to say no to. So cool. yeah, yeah. They're all magnificent, mm -hmm. but I just I couldn't let go of either side. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's well, this is gorgeous. Part of the message. <laughs> yeah, I think it captures every face of Lotus beautifully mm -hmm. and but has a uniting quality that yeah. I really value. Yeah. It's beautiful. Gam Lee with our next piece. Again, we're going 180. <laughs> Can we talk wow. about how Hydroid is riding the Kraken? Yeah, and you got Yorelli riding the front of that wave there. It's too fun. It's amazing. So I hope everyone at home as well is having a good time noticing all the little details. I know we have. <laughs> We're moving on to Platts. It feels like a Hayao Miyazaki movie. It's a great day. It's a great day. <laughs> it's a good day, yeah. Good day for some adventures. Uh, and they said, my friends and I enjoying the Dog Days event. Mm. Yep, so. I got it. <laughs> Plats and friends are having a good summer. Yeah. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Leo the Pug is bringing their next piece. Mm. So they said, ever since the release of the new war, I was mesmerized by the design theory of the, high, of the humanoid statue now known as the angels in the Zerman ship and had the idea of merging that design with Trinity. Mm -hmm. So here's my take on that concept. Yeah, I think they work well together. I was like, that's Trinity to Deluxe, right? Mm. Yeah, it is, yeah. Because you can see the ring on the top of her head. I think they blended those two styles together very well. Cool. No doubt about it. Thank you, Leo the Pug. Super Furret, Super Furret, with this last piece on that's our list. Intense. Yes. I mean, I love cage driving. I love riding creatures in Deimos. Mm -hmm. The speed, the motion is coming yeah, through in no. this still shot. Yeah. And it's always impressive to see when somebody's gone in and rendered something so de like highly detailed, but it still has the energy and the motion in it. And they've done, they've done a great job at keeping the energy of this alive, as well as like giving people a, a feast for their eyes. Yes, we've dined well in this piece. <laughs> <laughs> and in this segment. Yes. So thank you everyone for your digital art. We're now moving into Capsura. Captura allows players to create detailed images of their in-game characters. Um, some of these are straight out of Captura, and some of these have been edited afterwards to create something truly unique. Yes. So our first start in this segment is It's True Blue. First start. There's only one start. It's but it's blue. a great start. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, oh, we're in great. Deimos now. Very red, mm -hmm. dark. The framing is great on this. It feels like the start of an adventure. It's another movie poster. Another, another movie great poster. movie poster. Yeah, it's true, Blue. You've done a beautiful piece here. Our next one is by VGC. Protea with her past actions behind her, created by Temporal Anchor. That's really cool. Yeah. That's a fun effect to play with, to create a picture. I, and I think Protea, I mean, Protea is perfect for this. Mm -hmm. uh, I am so impressed by the action sequence. What a great use of capture. Yeah. Gwanox has the next one. A capture I edited to give it an outrun art style. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm a sucker for this kind of look, for sure. The synth wave look. The yeah. synth wave look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's in my headphones all yeah. day, I tell you. <laughs> Our next piece is by Purple Flip. That's epic. Those wings. <laughs> Those wings. Yeah, it's scary. It's, but you know, I somehow feel like this character is on my side even though I'm terrified, you know? He's here to protect you. Yeah. From darker things. <gasps> yeah. Tells a story. Mm -hmm. Rallin Capshura. Speedsters. Yes, so this is cover art for a version of Warframe if it was a sci-fi racing game. K-Drive Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And they the even included- perfect colors too for this kind of thing. It is all the looks of Kick <laughs> So thank you, Rowan Capture. This is a really fun idea. That's yeah, fun, yeah. Kaylee Emerald. This was their first Capture they took with these wings, and it became their favorite immediately. Mm -hmm. So this was like a one-shot wonder mm -hmm. in the Capture tool. Yeah. It's great use of Tenogen and some in-house stuff. And the lighting is beautiful. I wonder where that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A single soft light coming down. I do sometimes cool. look at Capture and wonder how much of it was in game and how mm -hmm. much was the editing. Mm -hmm. They merge things so nicely. Thank you. We're on to Medusa Captures. Hero Pose. I wanted to challenge myself to try something different for Tenocon. I wanted to pay tribute to the beginning of the Warframe story. Mm -hmm. The new Void Shell skins. Uh, faced or gave me inspiration for these stone warriors. They are that. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I see they replaced Meg <laughs> with Rhino. Rhino is also an early He's OG. Warframe. He's OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we respect it. Mm -hmm. And we've given Meg the glory that Meg deserves. <laughs> So here are all the guys and their super cool stone looks, mm -hmm. just like that intro cinematic quest. Yeah, that's great. Coroliva Crasta, a magic wisp as a siren mermaid. That's really cool. Coming out of the water like that. More Tenogen love. More Tenogen love. And the reflection is what really sells me on this piece. Yeah. I feel like sirens aren't necessarily kind, are they? The and that mood. comes through too. The mood is perfect on this. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful capture of pieces. That was our last one. And we have another category to get into. All right. Shall we? Let's do it. Off we go. The physical art and props category includes very hands-on media like woodworking, clay, and 3D printing. Our first one is by Lord of Creepers 2. Ah! That's amazing. Yeah, so they it, made... Tell me it lights up. 
Does it light up? It lights up. Oh. You got a picture of that? Yeah. Well, but you can see a faint glow here. Okay. We'll okay. have to... We're going to need to do a whole slideshow of this piece to show you all its magnificence or something, because, yeah, it lights up. It is a model of the war. Mm -hmm. You have done yourself with this prop. That's amazing. I want it. <laughs> you go fight. You're going to go fight some sentience. On to Specimen Delta's piece. Comey. I need one of those, too. <laughs> We're going to deck out Sky's whole space, yeah, playing yeah. Comey with a war at your back. Mm -hmm. Ready to go. So they use a combination of 3D printing, woodwork, and hand ground charcoal sand. No, oh, that's beautiful. They say, care to play a game, old friend? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, but. Please. <laughs> yes, but I, I, I want us to have a good relationship after, <laughs> not like in that oh, quest. I, I, I'm, I'm ruthless with this. Oh boy. <laughs> Noted. We're moving on to Fib Philip. A model. What is this made out of? I need to know. We have this one made out of polymer clay, painted with acrylic, and fluorescent colors. Wow. That's, That's a lot. That's not easy to do. I worked on this character, and like, even just doing it in the 3D model was a challenge. So to do it physically, that's a very impressive piece right there. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sure you can appreciate it more than anyone oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> just like, I am, all the, uh, strands, like especially mm. you see coming off the back there and like getting those to be the right shape. That must have been a challenge. So that's a very impressive. And it measures around 28 centimeters or 11 inches. And they're going to make Wisp next. So it's big. Say. It's yeah. a decent size. It's a decent size model. Mm -hmm. And they have earned the Solaris Workmanship Award as a special acknowledgement of all of that. Congratulations. Yes. Well deserved. Milwa is our next piece. Oh, we got a floof. It's a floof. They sewed it all by themselves. That's fun. So it's especially worthy of the Clem's Choice Award. We love a charming piece like this one mm -hmm. with all that care and every stitch. Congratulations. Yes, huge That's congratulations. That's adorable. <laughs> it is. And now we're going to go to Ketamel's piece. Stop. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, depicting uh, the Void Angels, it is 34 by 31 centimeters in size, polymer clay, LED lights, mm -hmm. and acrylic paint. That's amazing. This is a perfect like representation for these things, like as a relief sculpture. Mm. Yeah, and the LEDs, I mean, oh, yeah. it would have been amazing enough without lighting. Yeah. But yeah. here it is. Yeah. That's, that's really well done. Stunning kind of Nomad Arts, more polymer clay. So this is nine to 10 inches tall. They've made a few pieces. So we, we chose one of our favorites to show you mm -hmm. here today, but they, they make many of these out of polymer and painted with acrylic. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. It is. And it's cool how she's like in a heroic pose there. Jumping back. Yeah. Matrix pose. <laughs> Matrix pose. Yeah. Thank you so the much, Matters. Amazing on that. Gorgeous. And uh, MG? Magic thighs. Oh, thank you, Dean. Okay. <laughs> Magic thighs <laughs> with the next piece. Oh, yes. I saw this on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Urelli's signature pistol. And I love the they used uh, a clear acrylic with some... And they textured it somehow, and it looks like it's like the actual bubble material there. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, it looks like if you just pull that trigger, mm -hmm. destructive bubbles would go flying. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Thank you, Magic Thighs. You have also been given the Solaris Workmanship Award for this magnificent piece. Well deserved. Yeah. It was a fun design to work on and to come up with for your rally. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So working with the weapons team, we're like, well, why don't we, she does bubble, so like, why don't we make a weapon inspired by bubble making, bubble guns? So <laughs> they sent it, we sent it to Concept, and Concept came up with this lovely design, and we're like, yeah, perfect. Oh, man. Yeah, I can imagine the team had so much fun with that. Yeah. yeah. Our deadly bubble gun. We love it. Our next piece is by Widescreen John. 
multiple pieces. Yes. So this is a bunch of props that they've made for Warframe. One Screen John is kind of like, in the community team, we look forward to their next gun piece, okay. you know? We, we see the recreations often on Twitter. Oh, these are very cool. It's impressive. Like, Warframe designs are not easy, so it's always really special to see people take on the challenge and take it on so well to recreate them in real life. Oh, man, that's true. Actually, look at that thing. They have a full arsenal here. <laughs> it's crazy. Our last piece for Physical Art and Props is by Zeneca Tenno. Hi, Tan. That's beautiful. This is so cool. So they said, Ayatan treasure inspired bronze sculpture took over 100 hours yep. with eight moonstones in a single labradorite. Oh, and it jingles. <laughs> it jingles. That's beautiful. Ten bronze castings and 87 parts to complete the fabrication. That's amazing. I was wondering, I'm like, is that real metal or is it painted? But it's bronze castings? It's like as Ayatan as Ayatan can be in the mm. real world here. Mm -hmm. So that is a wonderful conclusion to this section. Our last category is going to be cosplay. Funny. All right. To finish things off, we're going to look at cosplay. Uh, the section you'll see people who have taken on the task of recreating Warframe characters in real life. They sure have. First up is by Tal Jawa. They've said, this is my cosplay of the NYX Pasitha skin. It took around two months to make, and it is wow. made of EVA foam and foam clay with some LED lights in the helmet. That's amazing. It's amazing. And the helmet lights up. It's cool. As you were saying, like no part of Warframe design is easy no. to make in the real world. No, especially with deluxe skins where they take it to another level, and to see that this person has recreated that. Is, are, do we have other photos of this, or is this just the one? I think this might be the only one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I know. I we want more. Yeah, Tweet us more. more. <laughs> yeah, we love it. Yeah. Stunning. And the weapon, too. Right. It's not like they, I mean, just did a Warframe. That would be crazy enough, but they also made a weapon to complement it. That's really beautiful. Beautiful. And they've been given the Solaris Workmanship Award as well for this piece. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're going to look at Written's piece. <laughs> They said, a cape-type Limpo Prime cosplay for a very special guinea pig. This is great. <laughs> it's a very special I never knew I needed a guinea pig with a hat in my life, and here it is. It's not just any hat. That's a Limbo Prime. Limbo Prime hat. The fanciest hat. I can't get enough of it. Obviously, for such a good guinea pig, it had to get the Master T Sinai Award. Thank you for sharing this gorgeous pet cosplay. This is adorable. I, I feel like the guinea pig had a good time having all these snacks in the shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to finish things off with uh, a cosplay by Arboreal Key. Does it look like Captura or what? For a second there, I was like, this is in the wrong area. <laughs> no, so. Again, more Tenogen love. Certainly. Yeah. And we've seen this cosplay before. Mm -hmm. We've seen it on Twitter before. Um, but since we last saw it, they've added claws, they've added more details, and obviously they did a beautiful shoot. It's a great photo shoot. Yes. And they're working on a NYX Deluxe mm -hmm. for TwitchCon in Amsterdam. Yeah, I have to keep my eye out for keep that. Keep our eyes out. I'm blown away by this one. Stunning. So naturally, this piece wins the Best in Show Award. Can't argue with that. No. Can't argue with that at all. It's even got weathering on it. It's not just like clean. It's got some dirt and grime on there. Obviously, LEDs is a must. <laughs> it's a must. Yeah. That concludes the TennoCon 2022 Community Art Show. Thank you to everyone who submitted. I can't tell you enough how much Julia, Veronica, and I enjoyed looking at your work. Uh, and I'm so happy I could share so much of it with all of you and with Skyers, one of Warframe's wonderful artists. Yeah, you know, it's been a huge pleasure. Um, as an artist working on the team, 
it's such a treat to be able to create something and then have it released into the world and then see people interact with it and even go out of their way to do their own art based off of it. It's really re-energizing. And that's, thank you so much for that. It's been amazing to see all this. And I hope you all enjoy watching the rest of Tenocon 2022. Bye. Bye.